This is the Mini Winnie 22M or Spirit 22M by Winnebago Industries. Based upon a Ford chassis, you can do it either on the E350 or the 450. Both will feature a V10. Aluminum running board standard, as is the fiberglass roof. This happens to be the white exterior. You can also do the tan. Looking at the utility side of the motorhome, this one also is equipped with the optional front cap. Large storage area back here across the tail, and then it actually extends to the almost all the way through to the other side of the motorhome. Be a great place for fishing poles, flag poles. Has a ladder and a steel bumper on the back. Already has a seven pin connector. You can see the rear camera. 7,500 pound hitch. And that's actually on either one of the chassis, either the 350 or the 450. Now as we come around the activity side of the coach, has a nice big electric awning, the LED light strip mounted up against the body, so the LED lights will work whether the awning is in or out. Also, it features up on the other side, we saw the 4,000 watt Onan generator, we saw the exhaust pipe for it. We come up and in, step over the house battery well. We'll take a look inside this 22M has the large cab over bunk area, which will support 600 pounds, which is a Winnebago feature. The swing off TV, you can see that a ladder was included, some overhead storage space, the King Jack antenna. This one happens to be done in the honey cherry decor. Microwave, conveniently, convenient location for the monitor panel, nice, Dual bowl stainless sink with high rise faucet. Stove with oven with the glass top, which can double as extra counter space. Little short drawer here on top. Now the next drawers down below are all full length drawers. So again, we're in a very compact coach, but we have a good amount of storage space in the motorhome. The nice U-shaped dinette. You can see the car seat tether. Nice big picture window. This area can also convert into sleeping as well. Seat belts around the U-shaped dinette. Big overhead cabinets. So for those that happen to be sleeping up in this area, that's where they would probably store their bedding. This area would be for the pantry right off of the galley. What makes this 22M unique is that we have a bed that slides out the driver's side of the coach. Down below is the some of the water tank service area, water pump, all of that mounted inside the motorhome. This motorhome does have a inverter on it to run the TVs off the house batteries. Take a look inside the bathroom area. Toilet, you can see a nice corner cabinet here. Sink with a GFI plug right by the sink. Glass shower door, not a curtain, but a glass shower door with some molded in storage on the side. Place to set bar of soap, bottle of shampoo, items like that. As with all Winnebago products, it has the nice skylight above it. You can also see that the air conditioning is ducted all the way back in here. In addition, you do have a 12 volt exhaust fan. Here's just a quick look at that corner cabinet. A lot of good storage space. Again, we're in a very compact motor home here, so storage will be at a premium. Looking back down the hallway, now let's go look at the bedroom area. You can see that the master bedroom can be blocked off by a curtain. That way you could block that off, but people could still have access to the bath area. Walk around bed. Again, you have storage up, up above 
You have windows either side in the slide room and then the bedroom TV. On both sides of the bed by the nightstand, you have USB plugs, hanging space. Little storage pocket, you can see there's a drawer underneath here. Also a 110 plug, so plenty of power outlets in the bedroom. Those are actually on either side of the, uh, either side of the bed for cell phones or any other devices you might need to plug in at nighttime. Again, this is the 22M by Winnebago.